Hello guys, Chronicle here, also known as Fergus, and today I'm going to be making a Counter-Strike Global Offensive video explaining passes, operation passes, and what you can do with them. Okay, so... If you do, if you have not been updating yourself with Counter Strike lately, there has been a new um, Operation Pass access pass that's been released, and that is the Blood Blood Bloodhound, the Bloodhound Pass. So this um, it has it comes with a, it comes along with the Falcon K Falcion or whatever you call it, and it um, contains six or sixteen new, new community community things um, out in guns. So. Let me explain what the pass is. So basically, an access pass um, is it's thing a thing that you purchase from Counter Strike from the Steam Store, um, and it allows you to um, complete campaign missions that are actually online, like this. So um, there are things like so this is a marksman. There are things like score. Um, P250 kills in deathmatch Operation Bloodhound group. So for that one, you had to get 30 P250 kills. The one that I'm on now is um, get 60 Beagle kills on Dust 2 in deathmatch. So um, there are 60, I believe. I think there's six. One sec. There are yes, yeah, 60 missions um, in both of them. So there's the one that I just showed you, and there's these, the Revolution. So they've got all these. So I'll explain um, what uh, another addition to, to it. Um, so when you when you purchase the pass in your inventory, you will get a Operation Bloodhound coin. So I always wondered how to get these these coins. I thought that you had to like complete the campaigns to get them and stuff like that. But it turns out you just have to buy the pass and you get the coin. So one thing that you can do. If you have a lot of money on your Steam wallet, you can buy all of them. Um, so if I go into the Steam market, if it if it lets me, hopefully it does. Here you go, and I type in pass, and that comes up with all of these. So I'll go into the price. So we have the Operation Breakout, and um, that's all access pass. We've got the Blood Bloodhound Phoenix and Vanguard and the Operation payback pass so these all give you the coin up and um, up at your name there so um that is something to do with the coin i'll say this, i'll explain something other with the coin if i go into this and i go into accessible mission if you look over here below the marksman sign it says it has the badge and it says challenge stars earned zero Earn 9 more stars to upgrade your Operation Challenge coin. Challenge stars are earned by completing star missions. So as you can see on this, if I go down here, that goes down to here, the active duty group, finders, keepers, and that has 2 stars. Then if I go up here, go down here, that has 1 star there, that's um, this, this versatility is key. And then if I go down here, there's another two, there's another three, and there's another one. So all of those add up to nine, and it's the exact same with um, with this one as well. It has nine, nine stars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So um, I'll just show you one more thing, and I'll, I'll show you the the journal. So as you can see. We have a journal and this shows you all of these different things. So I've got store cards, score cards, things like that. One sec. So I'll show you some of the things. We've got some some of the information on the missions. We've got my my ID badge. So yeah. This has been um, my so this is just a little, little guide or something like that. So this has been my my kind of explanation on um, operation operation coins and passes because I was clueless, but I've taught myself, and I hope that I've helped a lot of people out with this. 
So you can go and pick this up from the Steam store for four pounds, or you can try and find a bargain on the marketplace. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.